In today's video, we have one last chance to pull the first edition Blue Eyes White Dragon. What's up guys, we're back with another epic, hopefully, video. In this one, we have a first edition Legend of Blue Eyes pack. I said on the last one that it was my last pack, I think I said that. This one is kind of weird because it was a middleweight pack and I wasn't getting any foils from those and I was like, ah, oh, there's probably nothing in there. Today I decided let's just go for it. Let's just see, is there anything inside? I mean, honestly, it could be a pot of greed and I'd be happy because pot of greed rare could be in there and that's a very expensive PSA 10. So if we could pull a gradable one of those, I'd be super happy. We also have a large variety of other packs to be open in this video as well. But before we get to it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. These are LOB Portuguese cards that we pulled a couple years ago. So they're like near mint-ish. All you have to do, like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. Will we get anything out of the LOB pack? I'm guessing no, but if there is anything like pot of greed or a foil, we're gonna be pumped. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. The new year just started, so everyone has made resolutions, many of them having to do with their eating goals, or if you're me, opening another 20,000 Yu-Gi-Oh packs. HelloFresh provides awesome health forward options like calorie and protein smart recipes to help meet those New Year's goals. They're also giving away one free breakfast item per box for life as long as your subscription is active. Now that's a great way to start the new year. And speaking of health goals, HelloFresh's menu is bigger than ever. Sporting 45 plus dinner options, their menu can suit any lifestyle. But Ruxin, I don't have time to cook my meals. Not so fast. HelloFresh is quick and easy meal lineup is perfect for you. It's 15 minute recipes are designed to allow you to spend more time enjoying your food and less time preparing. I personally am always rushing to eat for various reasons, whether I'm trying to schedule YouTuber guests on guess that price, YouTuber schedules are not real. Packing orders, or just opening 10 cases of the newest set, food can sometimes be left out of my schedule. Having the ability to quickly prepare a meal that was delivered right to my front door is a game changer, and now I will not starve anymore. Chelsea kindly decided to cook me this smoky garlic herb shrimp, and wow, it was delicious. If this sounds like something that interests you, click my link down below or use code POGRUXINFREE and receive one free breakfast item per box while the subscription is active. Thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. All right, we have a bunch of other packs. Here's the first edition pack, but I got a wide variety. Like there's only two, I think there's two Battles of Chaos. Everything else there's one of, like it's 24 different packs and then an extra Battles of Chaos pack. Oh, and there's also a 2017 LOB, not just the first edition. So it's kind of different, but also the same. So let's get started in here. This this is gonna be a fun video because it's a bunch of random stuff. Some of the stuff I've like never even opened before. I'll show you guys. It's a Japanese pack, I think. I, it might even be Korean. I didn't actually look that closely. Here we go. Tactical Masters, no pack trick on this one. Can we get a collector? We have Scapegoat, Invader of Darkness. A lot of potential here. I'm hoping at the end of this video, we pull something. Joel Lockbird, that's a great start. That's like a three or $4 card, I think right now. Put that aside, that's amazing. We have Compulse. And Runic Freezing Curses. So a super, not super, a hollow card, I guess. I don't what do you even call this. Not sure why I was confused in calling, like, it's not a super. It is a super. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's off to a slow start for my brain, but also a great start, honestly, with the Droll and Lockberg. So not bad. We have Pre-Preparation of Rights. Wait, I should have done two from the back. This is Wild Survivors. Let's do that. We have Incantation, Candle, Pre-Prep. Ultimate Conductor Titan Random. Did we get an Ultra or something? Oh, we got something, I think. All right, Ultra or Collector. A Collector would be amazing. Ultra Rare is awesome as well. Let's see. Vanquish Souls, Dr. Mad Love. All right, Ultra Rare. We're basically two for two if you include that Droll as a hit. So this is off to a really good start. Okay, I did all the Collector Rare sets at the beginning, you know, just for a little fun. And uh, King's Court, you could be, you know, three for three if we include that Droll. I think you can do it. You can pull a God card and pull a Lightning Storm CR or something like that. We have Baxia, Dowsing Fusion. We have the Zenmayo Pot of Awesome. Good to see that. That is awesome. We have Zolga, Majestic Dragon. And we have oh, Chow Fang, Phantom of the Yang Zang. So unfortunately, not a hit there. But up next, we have this cool looking 25th anniversary secret selection. I believe this is Japanese, right? That looks Japanese to me. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that's the Japanese logo. All right, here we go. Let's see what we can do. I'm opening it from the bottom. I know there's probably a pull tab. I know, but I don't like the pull tabs, okay? I can't help it. Let's see what we can get out of here. I have no idea what's inside this, but it seems pretty fun. Let's see. Oh, whoa. Is that guaranteed? Harpy's Feather Duster? 20th anniversary, not 25th, not 30th. You know, Magic the Gathering. 20th anniversary. That's amazing. Monster Reborn Prismatic Secrets. And then a Prismatic Secret Pot. Whoa. I don't know if those are guaranteed or what. Either way, those are that's like 
that's like spell central. That's the best spell cards ever made, or two of them at least. And then, you know, pol polymerization, not so much, but it did basically facilitate fusions for a long time. Oh, wow. Look at that card. That looks incredible. They had 20th anniversary. They already had like the quarter centuries, basically, except they were not quarter centuries. They were quinter century. I don't know. Quint the, the fifth, a fifth of the century. How do you say that? All right. That was a cool pack. That was a pretty cool pack. You know what? Let's not do two awesome ones in a row. Let's do 2021 Tin of Ancient Battles, which unfortunately not an awesome pack anymore. It used to be pretty good when it came out, but now a lot of the cards have been reprinted many times. We haven't added any because there's still some good cards we could get. So I'm hoping we get some in for Noble. I mean, honestly, it's been a really good start to this video. We've pulled really good stuff. Warning Point, Shiny Black Sea Squatter. We have Tropicate Fractal. That's a nice prismatic secret. We have Cashadol Chaos and Dogmatic Atheo. So I don't think anything in there is too crazy. I bet Fractal could be a dollar because, you know, it's a nice printing it's a prismatic secret. I would guess it's like a dollar or two. Next up, we have another amazing pack. Legendary Collection 2 Dual Academy Years. I still have a first edition uh, Yugi's World we could open up. I may have only opened that like one time when it comes to first ed. So at some point, I do want to open that. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that. We have Avian. We have Return of the Six Samurai. Destiny Hero Departed because that MFC Dark Magician Girl, by the way, not MFC, that first edition Yugi's World Dark Magician Girl is very expensive. So if we could get that, it'd be pretty cool. We have Dogma, we have Test Tiger. That's a pretty good card as well. Secret. Cyber Drag. Okay, it's a pretty good pack. And the Terra Firma. Honestly, that was pretty good right there. That feels like a strong showing from Legendary Collection GX, but they usually are pretty strong. All right, let's try the Maximum Gold El Dorado. Let's see if we can get that access code. Last time I pulled access code out of this set, I don't even remember. It's been so long. I've tried many times Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. So it'd be nice if we could change that right now. Alter Geist, we have the Psy Frame Lord Lambda and the number IC 1000 Numerous Numeronia or something like that. Okay, that is a lot of lot of words. All right, guys, I know I said I opened all these the other day on the stream. If you guys missed the stream, go check it out. It, something crazy happened, but I found one more. So uh, why not open it? This is Dark Magician art. Who knows if this has Dark Magician in it, I will freak out because there was one pack in there. We have Sunvine Maiden. Attack or Crusader. Let's see. We have Buster Drag. Can we get lucky on any any ghost? Would be amazing. Miss Valley Baby Rock. And Shooting Star Dragon TGEX. So no, that one pack will not be lucky. Now we have the doubles. We have two Battles of Chaos. I just happened to find two, and I was like, you know what? Let's just open both of them. Starlight Rare. I have not pulled out of the set in quite a while, so it'd be pretty cool. We have Groza. Ogdotic Servant Strike, we have Mutant Mutant, Shining Pisphilia, Pisphilia, we have the Traitor, we have Maple Maiden, Leaf Pace Place, Fire Opal Head, and the Vampire Fascinator. So these are uh, European packs, so it's a little bit darker on the foils, which is pretty cool looking. Nice contrast from what we have over in uh, the US and Canada and all that. So one, two, three, four. Here we go. We have Trap Drive, Doll Happiness, Imprudent Intrusion, Dogmatic Abre. We have Doll Monster Bear Bear into the line. Ghost Trick Shot, Onibamaru Soul Sweeper, and the Vision with Eyes of Blue. Another not hit, but it has blue eyes on it, so maybe a hit. Okay, let's try this first edition Chaos Impact pack. Uh, by the way, you guys know what's in here. IP Masquerina Starlight, potentially. Pulled it twice before. It was in one opening, so I would be okay with doing it again. You know, it's been a long time since we did that, so let's see if we can do... No, it comes with a rare, so that's fine. Jelly Cannon. Okay, Marincess Snow. If we get a Starlight in here, IP or not, if it's IP, we're losing it. We have Boomba Line. We have Aromage Laurel, Old Mind. DD Patrol. Old Mine. <laughs> Old Mine. Look, using Skull Servants. That's all the boomers. I don't even remember this card. That's Boomer card. That's me. Skull Servant, King of the Skull Servant. We have DD Patrol Plane. Dream Mirror of Chaos. And Aroma Seraphi Sweet Merajuram. I don't know if I said that right, but that is still a super rare, so no big deal if I said it wrong. Okay, Duelist Pack, you say three. What's in here again? We pulled it before, because I had a few of these packs. I don't remember. There's only like one Ultra in these sets. I don't remember what it is. Let's just see. Majestic Dragons used to be a money card. I think it got a reprint recently, but SOVR version was 10 bucks. This was worth something, too. We have Love Leader. We have Max Warrior. Slip summon, so we didn't even get a foil. So no, another level leader. That's kind of weird. All right, dual spectra. I have also pulled the ultra out of here, but I don't remember what it is either. We have black thunder. I think we pulled it in the 100 pack opening. Ebon arrow, sure the blue flame and guard mine. So another non 
foil blackwing bar bombardment you know i actually pulled out a few legendary duelists i have not opened sisters of the rose and i don't know how long so this is pretty fun this set came out around when i was first like doing openings ever like i i barely did any at that point we have harpy queen i think it's 2018 cyber angel edith and cyber angels dual links throwback twilight rose knight the ruffian rail car and the magnificent machine angel guess what no foils guaranteed in here the machine angel ritual gonna summon the cyber angel bikini the worst thing ever okay legendary duel soul barning volcano speaking of the worst thing ever ghost share potential there is a 25 dollars ultra in here we want one of those volcanic eruption jack jaguar battle and boxer shadow number c105 so no we're not gonna either of those volcanic doom fire hey not Doomfire Dragon, by the way. Okay, we're getting more toward the end. We have the movie pack. I have a bunch of these for some reason. I don't remember where they came from. We've been... That one looks like it was already open, but uh, that's okay. Uh, it may or may not have been opened already. May not. Or could have, could have not. Who knows? Oh, spoilers. Could be the Blue Eyes Shining Dragon or whatever it's called. We've pulled it like the last two times, so... Not this time. All right, what a bond. So we started off hot. No blue eyes tune. That thing is not in good condition. I wonder if that was already open and I pulled a water pond and I just put it back in there. That's definitely possible. Okay, let's do a little Invasion of Chaos. Unlimited 2017. Any of the big three I'm happy with. Uh, four on the 2017s. You do that. Okay, we have a Sylphid. Any of the big three, I would take a Dimension Fusion as well. We have Recycle, Skull Market Ladybug. We have Energy Drain, Cannonball Spear Shellfish, Soul Tigre, Amphibious Bugroth MK3. Lacunga and oh I thought it might have been the Dementia Fusion but it is dedication through light and darkness that is a foil card a super rare as I was so confused by earlier that's a nice looking card has Demok on it so it kind of counts as the big three OTS 21 I can't even remember I remember that there are I think this was my favorite didn't this is the one like no this isn't the one with like sprite blue and stuff is it if it is then that'd be an amazing ulti Abyss Actor, we have uh, Mud Dragon the Swamp and uh, Rescue Ace HQ. Rescue Ace, which nowadays uh, Rescue Ace are pretty good, actually. Though they did ban some of them, I think, or limit them or something like that. So we have Tournament Pack 5 and 6. Pretty sure these are light. I've had these for a long time, but why not open them and find out? Tournament Pack 6, it might show at the very front card. I'm not really sure, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do it like this. Open it like that. We're gonna we're gonna do it like that. So either way, it's at least the second card. Okay, we have Clown Zombie, very classic card from the anime. By the way, the Pump King does not raise their stats. Learned that on CMO show. Last turn, pretty cool to see, and not guaranteed rares actually. Oh, we got a rare. Wait, is it? I don't think it's guaranteed. No, maybe in this one it is guaranteed rares. Yamada Dragon. I can't. Yeah, I think the original couple they weren't guaranteed rares. Very cool. Some old school cards right there. I'm going to put those, you know, somewhere somewhere nice because those are not just regular commons. Tournament pack five out of here. I should have done six second, actually, because five is actually worse. King at the Luminous Soldier Ultra Rare. You can get the um, uh, Needle Worm. I have a PSA 10 of the Super Rare version out of here. Mystical Sheep number one. That's a reprint from Tournament Pack one. I think this is as well. And Trap of Border Racer. So that is... Pharaonic Guardian reprint. That was once a super in Pharaonic Guardian. All right, down to some old school packs here. We have a 25th anniversary, a couple 25ths. Then we have some old schools. One, two, three. We've got the Chorus of Sanctuary, Chain Energy, Crab Turtle, Penguin Knight, Angel One of the D Force, Snake Fang, Spear Cretan. We have Shining Angel and the Jiggin Buckle Dog. All right, not much to show from Spell Ruler, but Metal Raiders. It couldn't be a video without opening Metal Raiders. Pecanio Moth Potential. I mean, anybody excited about that? One, two, three. Let's see. We have Destroyer Golem, Ancient Gear Golem. We have Tainted Wisdom, Rainbow Flower, Mushroom Man, number two. We've got Rocco Grugato, number one. We have Labyrinth Tank of iconic artwork. I always love this one. Stim pack, pretty creepy looking. We have Star Boy, and we have the Ryukishin Bower. Okay, 25th anniversary didn't do us much. Uh, let's go with, we'll do LOB real quick um, because it's a 2017 pack. Then we'll get to some originals back here. 2017 LOB, you can do four and swap those for 2017. Rey and Tempatura, that's the Portuguese opening coming back. We have Yame, Mizurizame, not here. We have Woody Phantom, Wasteland, Two Mouth Dark Ruler, Drooling Lazard, we have Hino Thomas Soul. Pod of Greed, I would love to pull this out of the first edition pack. I would not be mad at all if we got that. And... Umi. So, uh, and Pot of Greed's nice. We'll save that Pot of Greed. We're gonna get that first edition later. Let's do a little Legacy of Darkness Unlimited. I've had really good luck with LOD recently. We pulled some really good cards. Let's see if we can continue that. Yada yada. One, two, three, four. 
We have Secrets of the Bandit, Hunter with Seven Weapons, Lizard Soldier, Puppet Magic and Dark Ruler, Frontier Wiseman, Possessed Dark Soul, Super Rejuvenation, Battery Action is Samochi, and we have a reinforcement of the army. Talk about a nice old school super rare card. I mean, that could be playable right now in uh, in certain decks. Uh, that's pretty cool, and that's definitely good for old formats. Look at the hollow on this card. Wow, the hollow looked good back then. Check it out. That is beautiful. Beautiful super. That's a really nice pull. All right, two more packs. We have Labyrinth of Nightmare, and then we have First Edition LOB, our last chance of that blue eyes. To find out if we absolutely got destroyed on the pack, the LOB pack purchase, because as of right now, we have gotten pretty destroyed. Uh, let's see if this LON will be nice. A nice lead up. We have the Deal Phantom. Flying Fish. The wishes are granted to those fortunate enough to see this monster in flight. Oh, I've seen the flight. I ask for the wish of the Blue Eyes White Dragon in the next pack. Crimson Sentry, Miracle Dig, Boneheimer, Unfriendly Amazon, Swordsman of Landstar, Forgiving Maiden, and Jam Breeding Machine. The jam is breeding. That leaves us with one final pack. First edition, Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. One more chance. Some of the packs that were light, we graded those. Those were sold, sent them to ZNG. The others we opened. So far, we've pulled five super rares. That's it. So we spent, I think, $18,000 in those 20 packs. Obviously, we have not made our money back. It has been really rough. So I'm hoping that this right here can, I mean, if it's a super, if it's a pot of greed, that is at least a win to get us something back. And honestly, I don't have a pot of greed PSA 10, so that'd be really cool. All right, first edition, wavy pack, Legend of Blue Eyes. It was it weighed middle, so it's not heavy, it's not light, so it's right in the middle. This usually means no foil, but there's always that chance. It's very close. Let's try it. We have one, two, three, four. I hold out hope for the Blue Eyes White Dragon. We have Missouri Zame. We have Yame. Oh, it's a great start to this pack. Missouri Zame Yame. Witty Phantom, almost a Ruxin special right there in the first edition pack. The Kagamusha of the Blue Flame. Violet Crystal, first edition. Dark King of the Abyss. Fiend Reflection, number two. Spike Cedra. Okay, right here, I think this is the last card. We do not want to see fusion because that could only be swords, so, uh, flame swordsman or a rare. Magic card would be good because it could be pot of greed. Normal card. I think normal would be really good. Let's see what it is. Okay, normal. Are there any normal rares? We might have gotten a foil. If we get a curse of dragon, that could be one. There's a lot of ultras that are normal, so hopefully it is a ultra. That'd be amazing. Let's see. Ah, I forgot about Spirit of the Harp. I got my hopes up. All right, Spirit of the Harp and Aquamador. I forgot. I just got, I was like, oh, not fusion. That's great. Okay, it's not a pot of greed. It's not a foil. It was our last chance uh, for now. I mean, hopefully at some point we will get more packs, but maybe next time we will have better luck with LOB First Edition. Shout out to Tom Fo Show, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutster, Brad, KK Beats, and Unatai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Joey Castle. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.